Thank you. Well, in as much as John had been talking about his son David, we're going to let David have a voice now. Come on, David. And you stand by him, Matthew, will you? <clears throat> I'm not going to bother trying to defend myself. I'm grateful that I've had the opportunity to report to and have somebody over me in my life that would lead out in front of me and only look back and ask me to go ahead and come with him and not really try to put a lot of weight on me to right now see it my way, but instead to just give me the time to come along. When he talked to Roy that one day, I know the words that he would have used were, avoid the very appearance of evil. So I heard it many times. He'd tell us we'd be into trouble. Oh, well, people are just spreading rumors. I wasn't really involved in that. I wouldn't do that. And he'd say, something happened to start that rumor. He's usually right, because we weren't exactly involved. He helped me get a job here in 1989. I think that was just three or four years after he started. I'm hoping he's not going to put me off and wait, make me wait that long to move down south. I've been working on him, so hopefully when he gets down there he'll be trying to find me a place to live. <laughs> All our relatives down there spend a lot of their time driving through town looking at the apostates' houses, picking out which one is for us. <laughs> I'm not sure if they had this one pegged or not. I am really grateful for just a smile in my life. 